Hello everyone, I'm your host, Warrior of Angel. Welcome to the new episode of my Markavian Let's Play for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And as you can see in front of you, we've got a rather scenic dinner party going on. Consisting of several dead bodies, a couple of rats for the entrees, and a rather morbid underground tunnel, as or cavern I should say, as the setting. As you may have saw in the last episode, this is the home of Gary, the Nosferatu Primogen that I managed to find my way through the sewers in order to meet. And he's now sent, told us to go off towards Chinatown. Now, in order to try and find out what happened to the Ocarian sarcophagus, well, I can just give you this now. There you go. Gary wants you to find his spy, Barabbas, who was sent to Chinatown and disappeared. He's also told you your first stop should be told to Ming Zhao at the Golden Temple. As well as a couple of other side quests. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do these side quests first. Before um, I go off to Chinatown, probably in the next episode. But yes, in Chinatown we're going to be also be meeting the Quin Zhen. Quin I keep saying that. Wow, I hate that noise. We're going to meet the uh, Quin Zhen. Quin Jin. Oh, I can never bloody remember how to pronounce their name. I just saw it in the last bloody episode as well. But basically the Eastern Vampires. Kui Jin, I think they're called. Okay, let's... Uh, how do I get out of here? As you may remember now, this is where we... Well, I came in into in order to find out about the zombie apocalypse. Which, I forgot all about that back entrance. Sorry, that back entrance. Hence, unfortunately, one of my masquerade breaches because the zombies escaped. Next time, I'm definitely going to try and find the grave digger of a prostitute instead. <laughs> oh, Christ, some of the things this game makes you do. Okay. So the first stop is going off towards the Lucky Star Hotel, or Lone Star Hotel, whatever it was called. I, oh, I am sorry guys, I am really terrible at names, I'm going to have to improve that for future Let's Plays. Well, just in general really, I mean it takes a long time for words to sort of sink in, but when it does, it does. It just takes a while up to that point. Anyway, we're going to the uh, hotel, because opposite should be that Tawny Sessions, that the which if you saw the last episode, what an Oswald too, which used to be a formal model before her, a newer, younger one basically came along, has asked us to go and we'll set up some web cameras in her room. As you do. Alright, let's activate Obsecate. Alright. So I got three to put in. I got one to, first of all in here in the kitchen, which I can vaguely remember where they, it all goes. So give a second. Then you go in here. I believe that that's the bathroom. Which let me just make sure because there is a guy over there. See. And we've got a computer over there we need to use. So, in case you haven't noticed yet, these are the webcams that I've been asked to put in. Not very early, the most subtle things in the world, are they? <laughs> okay, let's stand up. Camera. I can't remember the password. Cleopatra, I think? Yeah. Okay, three cameras detected, nicely done. I can't wait to see Dirty Little Tawny in action. Mine's when you from here. Get out quietly and come back. Alright, there's a the guy's walked in. Okay, let's go. Ah! Phew, let's get out of there one piece. Right, uh, let's pop down to Isaac quickly. Very interested because he would like to know what's happening regarding the last fire too. And the Simichi that I met in the House of Horrors. So we're feet. No, I haven't. 
still got plenty of blood, there's no rush for me to go and feed. Oh, we got the equation. That's it. If I remember right, the equation, I'll discuss them a bit more in the future, but they're not quite the same as Knights. Anyway, the flesh crafter who walked with royalty is not so crafty now. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. I wonder something else. Certainly. What can my idle hands make playthings of in your city? There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. Oh, go oh yeah, I remember gargoyles. I'll let him explain it though, because I think he can do better than I can. Tell me of the stone one. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. Hmm. How does one smash a stone? It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. I'll move this rock. I wonder something else. Certainly. Sing a song of sewer rats. The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe uh, Okay, actually, I didn't need to do I anything more with it. Necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets and I keep my politics out of their sewers, but I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. I am gone. Okay, I thought he was, might have explained it better, but essentially the gargoyles in this, they're not like a unique race or something like that. I mean, I'm a bit hazy, so anyone who's watching this who may know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe that, I know they involved the Tremere with the sort of vampire mages. Uh, you may remember we met one of them earlier with the red glasses, Maximilian, I think his name is. But yes, he, so yeah, the um, no, gargoyles are sort of, st I've, I think they're like stone people, you know, using vampire blood, sort of stone statues being brought to life. I got, to be honest, I can't tell you much more than that, I'm unfamiliar, but if anyone happens to know, then by all means, write in the comments and... So, you know, other viewers may not find out or um, just have a look for yourself. In case you're wondering what I'm doing quickly, I'm... I hate that noise. I just head up to, down to the mausoleum quickly in order to try meet up with that Nosferatu girl, Xenia. Which, in case anyone noticed, she was actually... Well, if you remember going... I think I mentioned it. If you went into the... Why near the beginning, one of the first few episodes, when you went into the Bounty Hunter's flat opposite Mercurius, you had, uh, you noticed a picture on the wall of a model called Amelia. That's her. <laughs> Obviously she's gone a little bit downhill since, but I can't blame her for that really. Uh, f there it is. Nope. Oh, uh, which one was it? This one. Ah, there. So yeah, just go back to see what else she wants done. As I said, this episode may be some of the next episode. I'm just going to try and catch up with the side quest before I head off to Chinatown. Which, by the way, for anyone who might be interested, um... Oh, crap, I'm stuck. Wait. Thing. Remember when I said uh, that prophets, the girl that sort of could read the future? I met down on the... That watch call it down on Santa Monica Beach. Well, she did say, didn't she, when I asked her some questions that I am going to go to China. Alright, avoid the red stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Shit. Get me out of this crap. No, 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 no. Come on. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Oh, sh bastards. No. Oh. So this. Okay, sorry about my swearing. Okay, I'll tell you what guys, I'll meet you back in the sewers in just a second.
Okay guys, so we're back again. Sorry about that. Um, I just want to read this quick. Wow, told you session. Supermodel caught in threesome with boyfriend and a llama. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did you see the papers? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story in the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. Wow, um... Wow, it's just a threesome with Alamia. <laughs> okay, um... My hands are blood red. Now where's the green? Here, you definitely earned it. This money was bought with blood, mummy. Farewell. Oh, I managed to get some money, even though I lost more of my humanity. And I get some experience as well. I'm actually going to... Put it some into computers. Okay, now I figured out how I'm going to sort this out a bit better. Now I'm just walking rather than running. <laughs> there we go. I'll tell you what, guys, let me know in the comments as well. When it comes to doing any of these things, like, I mean, I'm at. I'm trying to keep it, you know, I'm going to keep talking and that while I'm doing the whole walking bits between places. But let me know, what do you think I should, would you rather me, you know, keep it going and just, you know, try and provide some entertainment, some chatting and commentary while I'm doing this? Or would you prefer just me to do, like, for example, what i just done, whereas I skipped the traveling bits to get to where I need to go? So let me know in the comments, guys, as well, because, as I said, I do try to improve my channel. And if, you know, you guys prefer me to skip traveling bits and you're just tired of listening to me talk for a long period of time, then please let me know. Okay, anyway, back in the mausoleum. There is one thing I'm going to have to do is, well, if I remember right, now that I met Gary, there's a whole thing about finding some videotapes. Basically, he, I think it's a fan, you know, sort of an unofficial quest as part of the patch, but if I remember right, you basically get the thing to try and find some, some tapes of Gary's from when he was an actor. And if you find them, you get the chance then to sort of, uh, how can I put it, he gives you posters of the, <laughs> or pictures I should say, some of the female members of the Kindred Society. I know... Ming Zhao is one of them. We'll meet her eventually in uh, in Chinatown. Uh, I believe Jeanette is one, Vivi is another, and I think Damsel is one. Two. Not here. Okay, let's head back to Santa Monica first so I can actually get some stuff. But yeah, it's supposed to be just like slightly sexy pictures. Don't know how they think it, but some of the artwork is good. Plus it will give me a chance to spruce up the flat a bit, because uh, it seems because of me being a bit of a dick towards the Prince, the McCoy, that I'm not going to be able to get an upgrade in my haven. For anyone who isn't familiar, if you remember the Skyline Apartments I went to quite a few episodes ago thing in downtown Los Angeles, there there was a one of the floors, I think it was the second floor, I can then actually go in. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Uh, how much gold for your goods? Right, here's what we got today. But yeah, there's a, a flat that's available, which you can, you know, sort of... Uh, oh, I can't sell them. Yeah, there's a flat that's available. You can... get, And if you've been doing good for the prince, he will actually give you that place for free, basically. Uh, let's drop these. Yeah, he'll give you the place for free. So it's a really nice flat, as you may have saw from some of the other flats. And it looks a lot better than the haven I'm in at the moment. Okay, still got all my... Yes. So just stock up with some ammo. Since I'm casually walking around with over two grand in my pocket. I mean, we've got a sniper rifle here, and yet I want the money foot. Or ammo, I should say. Okay, might as well stock up. Even though my counter is not really one for using guns, 
It's the power station is sorry in a way. Uh, I think I usually definitely needed ammo after me waste using all up on those some of the monsters in the sewers. Okay, there we go. So yeah, since I have been, as I was saying, yeah, since I was pissing off the prince, uh, I think I'm going to be stuck with this little haven up top there. Depends on how well he happy he is with his, me doing the Arcavian sarcophagus, but I think uh, by the, if I remember right, by this point I should have actually had been given it. So I don't think I am now. That's unfortunate. Anyway, let's go meet my ghoul. We have some rather sexy stuff. Hey, Chad, I want your storm. I need your rain, just a few drops. Make me blossom. And this is the thing. I mean, I think I did my justifications before. As uh, if you're just joining me, she's my ghoul, a uh, vamp, a uh, human that I've been feeding. Uh, I give her va vampire blood, and what what it does, uh, not only she can use it then to sort of the blood inside her to make it heal up quicker or not, and not age in there. But it also creates a bond called the uh, vin uh, my Latin style, uh, vin Vinelicum or something like that. Basically, but the blood is not only highly addictive, but also mystically bounds it to me. She starts feeling love. So let me see. You don't smell so sweet lately, Rose. Um, oh. What do you want me to do? I've given you everything. See? It's been good to you. If I failed you, just tell me what to do and I'll do it. Don't you understand how much I need you? How much I love you? Faint. So there you go. So you can get her to do other things, I'm guessing. Thing. Uh, but you can't actually tell her to leave. I mean, it's a pain, but the way I'm doing it, in a way, is I'm the one who's caused her addiction. I'm the one who's saved her life but caused her to be thing and it's harsh on her to try and because I can't release her from this blood the bound I can just making it worse I know by giving it but let me see this is my blood not wine I'm gonna be a bit of a dick now please please give me your blood my master see? my love my only reason for living I'll do anything you ask I die for you my glory my god so you can really be a dick and say like pitiful, disgusting, fragile mortal. Take it, wretch. Ah, now you're worthy. Thank you. Amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. <laughs> look at this. Nothing's as important as me. <laughs> Save them by play. Ah, you are precious when you speak such nonsense. Goodbye, pet. So I could be a dick to her. I can. And this is sort of the thing okay. is that. Hang on. Uh, your skin? Okay. Change it. I like for clothes fit in the darkness of my soul. Swap it to something else. But yeah. It's kind of thing in a way. Because. I mean, in real life, that really could make her open to abuse. Uh, because, essentially, she's now she will do anything pretty much I would tell her to do. If I told her to get, told, you know, if it was real life, if I told her to jump in front of a train, she would do it for me because she loves me so much. And it's not real love. It's mystical, you know, forced upon love. And it, it's really dodgy ground, I think, if you're starting to rely on it to, uh, as a vampire. But anyway, that's this. So I got a new email from the friend, which says the cost of the attack is often paid later. Uh, it's Mitnick from the Nosfar 2 computer IT guy. It says Mitnick here. I've got the information on the first of the network hubs. The terminal's in Santa Monica in an old place called Megahertz Computing. I'll send another email with Recon. Power up the terminal, find the net security folder, and run the Shretnik command. The password on the folder is Gil Bates. Don't ask. I'll message you when I see the hub activated. So Megahertz Computing is at the end of 2nd Street in Santa Monica next to the asylum. The only entrance is for the back door, so you have to get behind an alley to get back there. I am leaving you the key for the door in your mailbox. Good luck, kid. This one should be easy. Beckett. This is the guy who is sort of a travelling scholar. 
Then he sent me in a direction towards a sabbat, which was that was taking place in the library, as you can see here, and managed to break it up. So here we go. I learned that you interrupted the sabbat ritual at the library. It was probably intended to awaken whoever lies in that coffin. So I arranged that there would be a need, another chance for this needless for this. Sorry, Mr. Full Stop. Needless to explain that it might not be that astute to go sporting around the sorry incident to anyone. Beckett. Still around, Bertram. You read in this, I guess we you got living there. If you read in this, I guess you are still among the undead. Got a proposition for you, if you're not too busy. You know where to find me. Won't be too difficult this time. Bertram, this is the guy who had to get help me get into the Sabbat warehouse at the beginning of the game, so he obviously wants to talk about something. Prince is promoting you from Gary. Hey boss, did some spring cleaning today. Came across something that might tickle you. Ew, tickle you. We used to say tickle me fancy here in Britain. A kid who used to live here had an unhealthy crush on everyone's favourite psycho pinup, Jeanette Warman. I got a touch of nostalgia, so if you, you find a copy of Tap Hotel, starring me, I'll trade you a poster of that luscious lunatic for it. Put the videotape in your mailbox and I'll deliver it to your haven. Uh, Larry is offering some cheap world access. And... Alright, so let's go off and do some stuff. Just in case there was anything there. Blood's okay to go. Let's go. So yeah, going back to the thing about ghouls, it's just, you know, in real life, that would really be a bad thing. I mean, you for, you know, the, I mean, I don't know if people who are watching this may know, and I'm not trying to make it sound thing, but when you see about people in abusive relationships and they stay with a person who and getting abused time and time again because they feel that love, imagine it being able to inflict that on anyone and make anyone feel just that dedicated or even more dedicated. I mean, that's a very, oh crap, I've got the key card. Yeah, this is a very scary thought. I fact that some vampires have encouraged, you know, encouraged themselves to do it, to have someone around, because a ghoul is really a handyman, because more importantly, they can go out in the day. So if you were someone who needed to, you know, they can actually, if, if they were staying with you, living with you, they can go out and work and pay for your accommodation. You know, they will give you blood whenever you need it. You know, it's just... Thing, although you have to be aware of the fact, do you really want to trust someone who's hopelessly in love with you and addicted to your blood? Thing, I mean, all you need is the wife for to think, oh well, you know, if I feed on her, her and take all her blood off her, thing, then it means that she's going to stay with me forever. All right. Uh, if I remember right, there's no one in this one. You get, there are some later on that like, you have to avoid guards now because you have to try and sneak around a bit but it should be okay for this one do 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 okay could I actually have come, just gone through the door yes <laughs> okay so I didn't even have to do all of that whoops Okay, let's um, come on the computer. Okay, net security. Uh, what was the password again? Kill Bates. And Shretnik. Nice going, kid. I'll email you the instructions to the next hub. Okay, so now I should be able to just leave. So the thing with Mitnick is that he, basically you have to go around to each of the different, uh, each one of the uh, sort of uh, hubs, you know, like downtown Santa Monica, which we are at the moment, Hollywood and Chinatown, in order to basically put do favors to him. I think I know there was one which, if you remember the theater at the beginning of the game where sort of my character was held on trial by Lacroix, it, I, I know I have to go there to put a camera somewhere. Anyway, this is the Bertram Tung. I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. Speak. My shadow may once again fall on the showman's... Is that showman or snowman? Showman's lair. Sounds better. I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, on the sound of things. 
I will warm this. Mm, great, great. <laughs> Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it and bring it back. Uh, I see some questions from your bubbling dome. Like what? Hey. No, I'm no longer here. So basically, he wants us to go back and find a CD, which, if I remember right, is right at the beginning of the Nosferatu lair. So it's fallen in the water or something like that? I can't remember. I'll have to, I'll have to see what happens when I clean. Uh, oh yeah, back to the computer. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything else. Where's <laughs> the sarcophagus? Now! Oh yeah, and it can do that as well. Uh, got that, that. Yeah, I'm trying to try remember where the tapes are as well. I might have to look them up. Not just because it will decorate the uh, haven a little bit, but hey, it will also give me... It will give you guys, in case you haven't seen, heard about them or anything like that, to... Oh, uh, sorry, what we're doing, going over here. If you haven't had a chance to see them yourself, you'll be able to. Although the other thing I wouldn't mind knowing as well, guys, if I have actually missed any side quests, or there's any, or you know, there's any side quests, let me know, guys, because I so I've completed this game a couple of times. Well, hello, darling. So, <laughs> I have completed this game a couple of times, and I am familiar with most of the, you know, missions and that. But if I'm missing any, then let me know, okay? Okay. Anyway, email second one. Next terminal is the basement of Nocturne. Oh, wait. Nocturne Theatre in downtown. No one can know you were there. Stay out of sight and no killing. I'll need you to set up a wireless cam. I'll send you instructions on how to activate it. Once it's in place and activate it, log on to the net security folder. Break a leg. Ooh, hiccups. And one Shretnik. Nocturne Theatre is downtown, just across from the Empire Arms Hotel. Couldn't get a key to the front door, so you have to enter for the sewers. Sorry, that's the best I can do. And I put the camera in your mailbox. I've had an operative scope out the joint beforehand. He's marked the best place for the camera with a red X. Find it, it's probably somewhere high. I mount the camera. Once you put it in the place, log on to the terminal downstairs, find the camera folder, and activate netcam. You will be able to activate the hub until the camera is in place. So, typical really. He's managed to get a guy to break into the theatre and find a perfect place to put the camera, but didn't think to maybe take the camera with him and just stick it there in the first place? Uh, I'll tell you what, sometimes delegation is not what it is up to be if the person you delegate to can't do the job. And uh, handy thing as well, by going downtown, I can actually speak to Strauss as well, or Maximilian Strauss, the Tremere Primogen. I think he should hopefully, be, as you may have saw in the what uh, journal book thing that he should hopefully might be give some help in regards right. to what to do with that gargoyle that came out a little bit slower, a bit longer I think it's almost like I was trying to get the words wrapped up in my head like, sorry about that okay uh, how to get to Strauss's place He, I know I wasn't in the same direction as Confessions and that. So let's head this way. I know it's just up the road from the last night round. So actually, yeah, it was that way. Whoops. Right, let me just double check. E yes. I've got a nice little jaunt down the. Oh, there it is. I got a nice little jaunt down the sewers as well, and then uh, in order to get into the theatre, and then I should hopefully then. Well, might go a little bit over time, but I'll try and get them over and done with now. All right, let's find Strauss. E she. Strauss, here you are. Hello, neonates. How can I be of assistance? 
Might we trade words, Wizard King? Of course. I seek knowledge of gargoyles, the stone-skinned blood golems. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? One haunts a theatre in Hollywood. Tell me more. What can I tell you about them? Hmm. <laughs> Your eyes hide a blood secret, Wizard King. Tell me of this blood golem. <sighs> yes, I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. You fathered this fiend? Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector, and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. I see. Well, Isaac Abrams has asked me to get rid of the gargoyle. Isaac Abrams? His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I will keep the source of secrets. I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. What do I need? What need I do now? Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. My person appreciates this gift. Good luck, young one. When you succeed in destroying the gargoyle, return, and I will give you an appropriate reward. More knowledge needed. How do I destroy the demon? With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blood force is the only thing they understand. Tell me more of these blood golems. What can I tell you about them? The... Tell me of these blood golems. A gargoyle, put simply is a creature that was created to protect the Tremere clan in the early years of our existence. They are very powerful, and not to be trifled with. Created by the blood sorcerers? Yes. We used our extensive knowledge of blood magics to create a race of protectors. They served that purpose well, but they have also caused many problems. It's a complicated issue. What color is this complication? Well. Many gargoyles still serve the Tremere Masters, but a number of them have since rebelled and gone into hiding. They are a sentient race, but ultimately unfit for the freedom they desire. They need the guidance of their former masters. Hmm, tell me about these blood golems. What can I tell you about them? No things more. Goodbye. So there you go. So you know that this particular gargoyle is now was made by Maximilian Strauss. And in return, you know, and you know a little bit more about them in general. Now, if I remember right, this gives me two basic options. I could just go and kill the gargoyle. I can't remember if it will actually detect sort of like the artifact that I've got. So it may just go straight after me, or it might not. It depends if it can sense it or not. Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, what was it? That I was saying. Or you can actually go to it, try to talk to it, and uh, give it the option to work with Abrahams as a partner, rather than as a slave, and it will actually work uh, for him. So, depend. I think those are the two main options you can pick to do. Uh, you need to go to three. Uh, I'll tell you what guys, I actually will end the episode here. So, in the next episode then, we're going to carry on, just finish off the side quest, do... Mitnick's uh, one for here and in Hollywood, which thing, as well as find out a bit about like, videos, kill off the gargoyle, and then head off in next, not probably the episode after next to Chinatown to carry on with the main storyline. So, hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.